Welcome back to Effects number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Kenyan worldwide traveler Marwa hosted a one in a kind party here in Kenya that was in his village in Nyabuhansi. For a first time party, we can say that it was a success. No one missed food, people had plenty to drink and eat. And of course, some of Marwa's uh, fans were sending him uh, gifts here and there, goats and cows and lots of gifts, oil, rice, just to ensure that the party was going on smoothly. A few challenges here and there, like electricity not being there, but he ensured that the generator was running so that people had fun. Through Marwa supporters, some of the villages just really benefited especially the children some got sponsorship school items books stationaries bags a lot of things were shared to the children besides just having candies and i believe we can say that the coming year term january the parents will feel a little bit of relievement when it comes to the kids going back to school because a lot of things have been sorted who also benefited were those who are very close to marwa as they got gopros that is shooting equipment to ensure that they produce produce better quality content but there was something that came up there were some critics who felt that this ended up not being a party where people were having fun it was more of a youtube party it was content creators cameras everywhere some of Mara's fans who enjoy his content were also complaining that there were a lot of shout outs in his video but basically we can say that his hands were tied he's a very generous person and he's helping so many people and there were situations where some Someone has sacrificed so much come to him with some gift somebody even came with a cow for their child and he was basically not able to send them away just had to do it so in some situations he was basically cornered to do this shout out it almost felt like he had no alternative as some people are coming from different cities across the country just to get to see him at the same time he needs to ensure that things are running smoothly in his compound not forgetting that he has has to shoot content, edit it, put it out there for his followers who are basically waiting to get to see some updates from their favorite traveler. Some point you could feel that this was taking a toll on his health from before the party where he was monitoring the construction workers doing things up and down, the party following right after and it ends up being talking the entire day tonight, shooting your own content at the same time he was shooting a masterclass. I mean, what can one person and do and hence why you could tell that clearly this man was exhausted and he needed some time to rest perhaps some of the things that can change next year if people are coming for a party it's pure party having fun enjoying Perhaps certain days should have been set aside for these shout outs because it seemed to have been a little bit overwhelming and also fans also started complaining that there were too much shout outs. And this brings us to the question, were the people who visited Mara at his party genuine, there to party or they had their own interest at heart? Forget about the big uh, brands because he is a brand and there are people who are collaborating with him to ensure that this party was running smoothly like uh, the sound system, music. Those are people who partner with him and they come to an agreement. Both the business entity and the influencer have something to benefit. He gets a good deal, saves some coin. The company is benefiting. He is benefiting. It's a mutual beneficial agreement. But according to his sister, Dim Wango, 90% of the people who came to the party did not come to the party with good intentions. They did not come to party. They came to grow their YouTube channel. Channels. They came to use Marwa and hence why she was not able to travel to her brother's party because that is something that she would not be able to handle. That is shout outs from morning to evening. Dee also put out that there were people who never used to say hello to her or even to her brother. They just started to talk to them because they saw what YouTube was doing to them and hence why they want to be closer to where the success is. So according to Dee, those people who are there at the party were not genuine. Do you feel that 90% of the people were using Marwa? Before we dive into that, let's get to see what D had to say. I grew up in the countryside and I had like not more than two, actually three friends. Only three girls used to be my friends. You know? And um wow. So I only had there's somebody who was trying to call me. So I only had like three friends while growing up. So many people in the village, like nobody wanted to associate with me because I, I was always that girl, you know, like my family, 
back then okay right now i thank god right now we are elevating right now we're doing well we can't really complain you know and uh, glory be to god it's all because of god so back then even all, majority of these people who are like now content creators back in the village they, they never even used to say hello d or anything they never used to, they never ever wanted to associate with me and guys for me i just don't know there's just something in me if you are there for me like before even when like right now i'm a youtuber or whatever still you still my my friend same way you can still call me you can still talk to me because i value that because you are my friend when i was not this social media influencer that i am today so most of these people that you know they're now content creators and they're back home you know most of them just started you know they just want they just started getting close just because now you know those friends who are your friends because it's beneficial most of them are like that just because now they want to benefit something now they try to bring themselves close i swear you know i was just talking i was just sharing with my young brother the other day and i was like yo you remember so and so he never even used to say hello like one of the creators could say hello to my friend and not say hello to me but right now he's a content creator i have no bad blood because that time honestly hmm, it was something else you know and most of the people who are going to the party these are just gossipers looking for shout outs and you know and just try to see what can i what can i run with 90 percent are pretenders 90 percent most of those youtubers you know like sometimes i watch the videos and i'm like yo when my brother is at home yo cameras up like 200 cameras 300 400 on one pa- and i'm like yo is this a party or this is a is a paparazzi thing like it's crazy yo like i'm like yo thank god thank god i'm not there to you know to experience that because personally me i can't handle i can't handle that i can't handle these people are just there just to get views. Nothing. They're not like genuine people. Somebody traveling all the way from Mombasa to my village just to look for just to look for fame. Like you know, like it's crazy. It's crazy. No good intentions, nothing. And you know, when people want something, they can do anything. Leaving their homes, their blankets, their everything, running over there, not just because of they are happy celebrating, just because they are there to look for gossip. It's crazy. It's crazy. And I'm like, yo, trust me. Personally, I've supported so many YouTube channels, countless, you know, but not in the way of waking up and be like every day, 200, 300 cameras on my face. And I have to, guys, we are also human. Jesus Christ. No, sir. At the end of the day, we are human beings. Mostly when I go home, I go home to relax. I go home to relax. I don't have time to be like, yo, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. <laughs> Sometimes it's overwhelming, guys. Sometimes it's overwhelming. Honestly, we are also human. Imagine having people, like having people around for like over a month, day and night. Only my brother can handle that. Di Mwango, guys, I don't want to lie to you. If you want to love me for who I am, thank you. If... You don't love me for what I am, well and fine. It's none of my business. It's none of my business. But for me, there are things I can't handle. I just love my space sometimes. Chill, have some good conversations, laugh and all that. Not all the time. Give me a shout out. Give me a shout out. Give me a shout out. Do you feel that 90% of the people who are at Mara's party, just like his sister Dimonga said, were there to benefit themselves? People did not go there with good intentions. They went there with the aim of growing their channels. This was not a party. It ended up being more of a shout out party. Reason why she decided to not go there and wait for the right time to go home, enjoy and relax with her family members. Some people criticized her for putting this out, saying that she is selfish and prideful for not going to support her brother. But according to her, she will stay truthful to herself. She was not able to handle what her brother was doing and most importantly she knows the people who are there are not genuine you're up to date thanks so much for watching subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be the first to be notified once of any new updates i'll catch you on the next one bye bye, bye.